Happy Sunday, everybody. My name is Russ. That is Lauren, and this is our latest vinyl video. And for those of you who have uh, not seen the channel before, we do vinyl videos every Sunday. We have uh, fun music topics on Thursday. Well, fun for us. I don't know if they're fun for you, but they're fun for us. Uh, and then we do reactions on Saturday. But uh, instead of focusing on, like, you know, super rare stuff or whatever, just as we kind of build our uh, vinyl collection together, we're doing videos just on everything that we pick up. And... Um, we came across a copy of Great Gonzo's The the Best of Ted Nugent uh, at um, one of our favorite. I think there's about two record stores here that we really like, T uh, Tiger Records and Soul Waves. Mm -hmm. And uh, we came across this copy out of um, Nugent out at Soul Waves. It's out in Jacksonville Beach. Um, there, there is in no way, shape, or form a uh, uh, sponsored video or anything. But if you're ever down in Jacksonville and you go out to the beach, Check them out, but make sure to Google them first because um, it's like it's a it's a great little store, but it's very much like a secondary yeah. thing for what they do. And they're out, like I think right now they're open Thursdays, Friday, Thursdays through Sundays. Maybe something that's like super yeah. limited hours. So, whereas Tiger Records, they're open seven yeah, days a week. Tiger's so it's like open. you know. Yeah. So with this one though, it's a great place. And what I like most about um, record stores like this is with older pressings. Even if something looks in good shape, like I can't count the number of times we've been somewhere and you. Are like, hey, take a look at this and see what you think, you know, like, and we've had stuff look great and then get home and it still sounds like crap or whatever. Um, but this one, I was like su surprised in what good shape that it was for how old that it was, uh, because Great Gonzo's is a uh, best of Nugent record that's out to, been out since before the time, dawn of time. It's not anything that's been reissued. Like a lot of Ted Nugent's catalog has been reissued, um, either if it's like a standard 180 pressing or like analog productions did like a uh, two LP 45 RPM of this first record. Like, but like at least to my knowledge, nobody's out there reissuing a Ted Nugent hits package from the seventies, you know? So it is hard to find one that's in good condition because this is one of those like, um, party type records. Like when you're, uh, when you're a kid and you buy a record like this, it's pretty much to put on at parties and yeah. Nugent is party music. Um, so I kind of bought it and was just like, well, we'll, we'll see what I'd throw it on for now. And, you know, like at mm -hmm. least, at least it's a grouping of Nugent songs I want together. So, um, when we do these ones where it's like just a common pressing, there's not a ton to talk about with our usual stuff, like with packaging for Nugent, um, records are pretty much all from like the heyday of vinyl. So there's nothing like really special that goes on with them. Like it's standard cardboard cover, mm -hmm. like. Um, back when things came in a paper sleeve, um, like a, a printed paper sleeve. Um, when I was a little kid, I thought the picture of him on the cover makes him look like yeah, that's pretty cool. damn near Superman. Mm. You know, just a big Gibson Birdland howl body guitar. And um, I don't even know what year that picture would have been from, but uh, my guess is sometime in the 70s. Um, so like packaging on this type of stuff, and especially hit, hits packages back then, like if you got any thought put into your package, the, the, the uh, cover art and stuff of your hits package, like that was more surprising than yeah. anything. Well, they know who was buying a hits package. Yeah. Well, yeah. Casual fans yeah. or, uh, or like in the case of Nugent, like he's, he's like um, Boston where like everybody in the world bought that first record. And then kind of like the, there was like a sharp decline in sales mm -hmm. um, from there out in with Nugent. That's due to a number of things like, um, uh, personnel lineup changes and things like that. Um, cause there used to be a time where every time his name come up, like somebody didn't have to fly off the handle about politics with him. Like we used to be able to talk about Ted Nugent, like for his music, which I know is crazy, but it used to be this thing that we did. Um, Wild. so when his sales went down, it wasn't because of that. It mm -hmm. was because of like, um, like controversy when Derek St. Holmes left and, and personnel lineups, you know, and stuff like that. Um, so his package for me is like people that were like, um, bought that first Nugent record and then like, like free for all and doggy dog and stuff, but didn't want to buy the later records, you know, to air. um, sound. I think it's, uh, I think the, um, his package sounds great. I've always liked the way Ted Nugent stuff was uh, mastered. Like they were like the, uh, again, free for all, uh, weekend warriors, all that seventies stuff. Um, the, to me, there's no difference in how like you could put a song on from the first record or a song from his fourth record, and it all sounds the same to me. And I, I mean, I mean that in a good way. Like it's good. Like even like Motley Crue, if you play a song from the first album and you play a song from Doctor Feelgood, you're gonna be like, S two different men produced this, right? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is not the same. Um, and uh, sound wise too, this is the thing that surprised me. And and look, you're not not a Nugent fan, but you're probably not anywhere near like. 
Yeah, I know what I know, and that's all that yeah, I know. Like this this package is probably squarely di- directed. Yeah. At yeah. Uh, but uh, so she wasn't like actively listening to it, but you sure were able to hear the sounds of Ted Nugent wafting through the entire household. I sure it. was. Yeah. There was no pops, no clicks, real clean Mm-mm. pressing. I was shocked, you know, because again, I figured a lot of people got drunk and put this right record on it didn't treat it all that well or somebody bought it and listened to it once and was like turns out nugent's not for me you know <laughs> it could be uh price wise we that to me was the deal we got this for like 15 bucks yeah um which again you know on one hand you might say you know but it's 50 you know it's still 15 bucks you can go buy a new record at target for these days for you know 30 bucks yeah but again this is something that's not going to get reissued mm-hmm. you know and i don't mean that's uh, like that's rare i'm just saying it's why would you bother to reissue a, a hits package like that? If anything, they're going to do a new one. A new one. You know, yeah. uh, they'll have a lot of material people don't care about from la- from later. Um, but yeah, 15 bucks in, in the shape that it's in. Um, I thought it was great. Um, for the value, we always talk about like, like the older I get, the more um, greatest hits packages serve more of a purpose in my life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? I like them. Yeah. Like, uh, give you an example. I've, I referenced this a lot on the channel, but I used to have a massive vinyl collection. And I had, I was just pulling a name out of a hat, uh, Def Leppard. I had, off the top of my head, I had On Through the Night through Adrenalize. So that's uh, what, uh, On Through the Night, High and Dry, Pyromania, um, Hysteria, and Adrenalize. I had at least those. I had Slang. Um, Did you have and a, a, did and a couple, Euphoria? No, no, because they. No, okay. I think it wasn't. I think it hadn't been. Oh, reissued probably not because that came whatever, out like yeah, ninety nine. Yeah, it it has since been yeah. reissued, but it, it, but okay. So we're looking at at least um, six Def Leppard records, including Slang, which I think me and maybe Joe Elliott own a copy of. Um, and then I had a live, at least one live album, and then I had the nerve to have Vault. Yep. As well, mm-hmm. and it's like, but why? Like you know what I mean? Like like unless you like Hysteria, I get it's got like a billion. Hits Hysteria it, right? and Pyromania, I would say, yeah. like, you know, we got to have those. So the Nugent record is the same way. Like, I, I we will probably buy um, Analog Productions does that super rad version of um, the first album. I love everything on the first record. Like, there's uh, at least one song on the first record that's not on this hits package because, you know, lo and behold, it wasn't a hit. Mm. Um, so I will probably buy that. But I would never go buy, like, Free For All and Weekend Warriors and all that stuff again like I used to. Um, state of shock, all that stuff, because everything I need mm-hmm. is it's right here is on this record. So, uh, mm-hmm. and more than Lauren <laughs> needs from uh, from Nugent. So, uh, one quick note before I round out this video, uh, I did touch earlier on the fact that uh, we are not dumb, and we know that Ted Nugent is a controversial figure here now today. Uh, if you leave a comment anywhere along those lines, it's going to get deleted, and you're going to get yourself banned from the channel. We are here to talk about music. I don't care what Ted Nugent said about any sort of things you arm yourself with or who he said what about in the political spectrum. I care about when he picks up his guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, as he says on the one live album, uh, I'm just a dumb from swamps of Redford, Michigan. And I wrote the number one guitar like in the world. Like that's what I care about. Sure. Um, So you can leave political comments um, and that'll help bump the video in the, in the, in the algorithm. uh, And then I'm just going to delete your comment. So don't do that. I will, um, however, accept um, positive comments regarding Weird Al's portrayal of Ted Nugent on Reno 911. <laughs> yeah, which <laughs> deep cut there. Uh, once again, that is Lauren. My name is Russ. And as we always say, thank you so much for watching.